Hello everybody, I want to welcome you back to another episode of Adventures in Beekeeping. Um, today I'm going to do uh, just a little experiment. Um, we've been talking a lot on the forums and stuff like that about, uh, oh, uh, packages coming with queens without candy, people opening the cork ends, and uh, having the queens fly off, uh, not being prepared, uh, it, you know, usually suppliers, uh, have one end of, is a candy, one end is the cork. Well, they both have, both ends have cork, one is just a corked end that'll just free release and the other one is candy end. Uh, but apparently, uh, many are coming from California and have been for some time uh, with a cork and an end and zero candy. Have no idea why suppliers are doing this. Uh, saving a penny, uh, doesn't bother some of the more advanced beekeepers, uh, but if you're a first time beekeeper and you've been watching videos and reading books and they talk about uh, you know, opening the cork and, and, uh, and, and letting the bees chew through the candy and you pop the cork open, expecting there to be candy and guess what? No candy, your queen flies off and you're pretty much uh, out of luck. Uh, so um, today I'm just doing a little experiment of my own. Um, and uh, I'm gonna make my own candy. And a lot of people say you can use marshmallows, but uh, bees can th chew through that pretty good. So what I'm gonna do today is uh, is make a little uh, of my own candy, which is generally what, what most people use, which is uh, made out of uh, confectionery sugar, uh, confectionery powdered sugar, so just powdered sugar for short. And uh, instead of um, corn syrup, using corn syrup, I'm actually gonna try to use a little bit of my own honey. Um, and the reason I do that is, I mean, just giving it, giving it a shot, this is honey from my own bees, I know it's good. Uh, I know it hasn't been affected with anything or added additives added or anything like that. And, uh, and I also, um, I know, you know, it, it's, it's not like adding uh, sugar water or anything like that where the, where the um, you know, the, the end result will get hard after a few days. This should stay uh, malleable or pliable uh, for a long time if I wrap it in some cellophane or wax paper and keep it in the fridge for a while. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and try this. This is my first attempt doing this. I'm gonna be actually create, making my own queens this year, so this is gonna be good for me to, um, to, uh, to make some uh, candy for that uh, in case I uh, you know want to sell a few of my queens to uh, some local local people but um, we're just gonna add and I'm just gonna kind of go through and um, add honey as needed here and uh, see how it um, see how it works I don't know how much sugar, I'm not sure how much honey, but um, we're gonna kinda mix this in and kinda see where we're at in the end. We're gonna try to get it to a consistency where it's pliable, malleable, but not too, too sticky. That's what we're really looking for. I'm gonna just pour a little bit more of this in there. My honey was thick. I, I did a refractometer on it. I think it came out to about 15% uh, moisture content. So, uh, let's see what we can do here. I'm just going to show you what's going on here. Kind of mixing it up. Kind of getting into a little ball. Whoop. 
my puppy just knocked my camera for a loop there. I'm going to add a little bit more. And like I said, I'm making this and uh, we're just going to try to get it where I need it. I probably put too much sugar in there to start, but oh well. Okay. That was probably now too much honey. Ha. So I gotta play with it a little bit. Right now it is pretty sticky stuff, but uh, I'm working more and more of the sugar into it. This is kind of like flour and water. Here's what it really, really ends up being. Um, like your bacon. And the then this and this actually is you know probably more than the average person is really going to need. Uh, you know, if you only got two or three queens that came in with packages, you know, you probably need you know this much candy for those three or so. But uh, we're getting really to the to the uh, consistency that I want to see here for it. Still a little sticky. I'm just going to add just a little bit more sugar. This is what we're after right here. Now I can, I'm, uh, you see how it's not sticking to me, but it's still real malleable? That's really where I want to get. So I'm just going to soak up a little bit more of this, a little bit more of this powdered sugar. not too messy of a job doesn't take too long this is this is ideal what, what you want to see here it's just barely a little sticky just gonna add just a little bit more the sugar to it but this is probably I probably got enough here to do dozen queens or more I'm gonna guess and like I said because it's the honey it really shouldn't uh, it really shouldn't um, harden at all to store it I'm gonna store it in the fridge um, Beautiful. Better than a marshmallow. Much better than a marshmallow.
And as I'm working it, it's actually getting a little bit more sticky. So I'm going to add just a little bit more sugar to it. It's kind of funny, but I am. Not much. That's perfect right there. I don't need to do any more. That's it in a nutshell. Beautiful. Just uh, you can tear yourself off a piece and if you get that little those little rolls, um, you, they, they're little plastic pieces um, that you can shove this in and you can just cut you off a piece, stick it in there, whatever, doesn't really matter. And uh, you can use that. But, uh, or if you have the wooden cages and you just want to shove it in the three, it's literally three drill holes uh, size cage. You can just shove this into the one, one of the drill holes, and the queen and its attendants will be in the other two. So, anyways, that's it. This is. Uh, This is your candy. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. it. Seemed to work out great with the honey. Um, I will uh, keep this in the fridge for a while and let you know how this stored. But uh, I'm just going to get a little bit of uh, uh, plastic wrap here and uh, wrap it up and stick it away for a little bit. Because I honestly don't have any queens. There's a foot of snow of snow in there, 20 inches of snow on the ground right now so my bees are coming a little bit later 10 days from now so that'll do that okay that as they say is that thanks for watching happy beekeeping give me a thumbs up if you like it and uh and subscribe if you uh if you like if you want to see more videos Thanks again.